Hey guys, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and if you are a OnePlus 8 user, this video is for you. The OnePlus 8 comes with some amazing tricks up its sleeve and considering how good of a skin Oxygen OS is, it definitely packs in some nice features. You know, features like custom dark modes or quick actions or even subtitles? Well today, I'll show you how to make use of all of those features. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first trick is I want to show you how to enable live captions for all of your videos. It's super simple and it's so great that you'll be using it every day without a miss. Enabling it is quite easy. Just press the volume up or down button to open the volume slider. Now below the slider, you'll see this live captions button. Just tap on it to enable the feature and that's it. Now based on the language settings you provide, the app will generate live captions or subtitles for whatever video you're watching. Now the best part is that this works even if the audio is muted. What's more is that it works for all media, now be it YouTube, Instagram, or even a local video file. Okay, so personally, one of the most annoying things about OnePlus 8 is that you have to hold the power button and then it just launches the Google Assistant. I mean, it's fine if you use Google Assistant quite a lot, but I don't. So I just want to have the power menu over there, you know, like the good old days, like OnePlus has always been that way, you know. So let's show you how to do that. It's actually quite simple. Just head over to settings, buttons and gestures and tap on press and hold the power button. Now by default, it should be set to assistant. You can now change it to power menu. Another thing that you can do is that if you prefer using Amazon's Alexa more as compared to Google Assistant, just install the Alexa app on your phone. You can then use the power button to trigger Alexa by following the same steps. Okay, now here's another trick that I recently discovered while using the OnePlus Talk Launcher. It's nothing massive, but yeah, it's super cool. So whenever you want to search apps from your launcher, you just swipe up and then you tap on the search apps icon and then you start typing out the app name, right? However, with OnePlus Launcher, what you can do is whenever you're swiping up, just hold it there for a second and it will automatically launch the app search menu, which is super convenient. Now, one of the best things that you can do on an AMOLED panel is to turn on the dark mode to get out more juice out of your battery. Now, we all know how dark mode can be enabled on Oxygen OS. You know, just go into customization menu and turn on the, the dark mode theme. Basically, that's nuanced dark and that's it. That said, OnePlus 8 has introduced a new feature, that's dark mode 2.0, where it allows you to actually include dark mode for other third-party apps that do not support dark mode natively. Now to enable that feature, just head over to settings, utilities, and then OnePlus laboratory. Now tap on the last option that says enable dark tone in more apps. Now all you have to do is enable the toggle next to the app you want to enable the dark mode for, and then relaunch that app. And voila, welcome to the dark side. So while we're on the topic of customization, did you guys know that the OnePlus 8 also comes with the horizon light feature, you know, thanks to its curved screen display? Basically, what it does is light up the edges whenever a new notification comes in. It's their way of replacing a notification LED and definitely looks super cool. Sadly, that setting is slightly hidden but still quite easy to access. Just open up the customization settings and scroll all the way to the right till you find Horizon Light. You can now choose from the given color array the kind of lights you want. In my opinion, I feel OnePlus could have done a bit more. See, other brands like Samsung and even Xiaomi give you more control over the kind of edge lighting you want, the kind of animations and the different colors that you get to choose from. Whereas on OnePlus, it's quite basic. But hey, it's at least there, you know, you know get something instead of that notification light. So kind of works. Well, last but not the least, we all love shortcuts, right? Now, did you know that you can actually launch shortcuts from the touch of your fingerprint sensor? Well, with OnePlus, you can. Yeah, it's easy. Just tap and hold your finger on top of the scanner. The phone will unlock and then take you to this quick action menu where you can easily launch your apps. Now, how do you enable it? Well, just head over to the utility section in settings and tap on quick launch. Now, enable the toggle here. Once you've done that, tap on shortcut settings option below it. Here, you can add all the apps you'd like to have quick access to and assign their order as well. And that's it. Now, the only downside to this feature is that you cannot use face unlock. So you have to turn off the face unlock feature and only use the fingerprint scanner, which is fine, I guess. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're trying to quickly launch shortcuts, this seems like an alternative route, which is great. But yeah, you just have to be aware of the compromises that you'll have to make. 
And with that, we come to the end of this video. Now, I've also done a great video talking about the special tips and tricks about the camera of the OnePlus 8, the link to which will be in the description box below. So make sure you check that out as well. Also, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up to support us. Till then, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.